Okay. In all of that, mm. pick me a hero. There's too many to pick from, so I've picked a play. This is my favourite play of the weekend. That's Michael Frederick chasing down Ed Richards here. He started so far away from him. And he goes, will I, will I, will I, will I? I'll chase, I'll chase. I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. Got him. The noise they say at Optus was amazing. And look at that. Sonny, Sonny Walters had a brilliant game. I nearly chose Sonny. Yeah. But I went for the defensive effort. I don't... For, we have this amazing thing in our sport where run-down tackles are cheered like spectacular marks. Oh, it was, that was just such a beautiful moment. He got dropped during the year. He was ill-disciplined. He's got back in and a great defensive moment. That was... There's many, Jared, but yep. I'll take that one. Yeah, come back from 41 points down, I think it was, without belief already there. So um, they've got a lot of belief in our footy. Richards just got it away, but got it to Walters. Walters kicks it goal. And can you believe what is happening at Optus? Ten of the last 11 goals. It's taken every ounce of the old heave ho. But the Dockers have done it. Despair to delirium. These Dockers fans have been taken on an emotional journey. The belief's there. Yep. I think it's lack of hope that comes and gets you. See, I believe in hope. I believe in belief. In belief. And then there was Saturday night. So it's six, six door behind. So I got the laptop out and started to do my work. And then they kicked two goals in a row and I thought, oh, what's going on here? Mm. And that, that was an idea that reared fast. So I don't think there's much doubt, is there, that Fremantle got chronic stage fright as they entered their finals. Early. And 41 points was borderline catastrophic. It was. But it you was. could see from a long way out that they were going to win. A long way before they hit the front, you could perfectly well see how this was going. Now, we're going to do with the Bulldogs later, mm -hmm. but let's revel with the purple. Oh, look at those two. That's a magnificent photograph. I still love, still photographs. So there's a, there's a miss of the young fella there kicking some big goals. So what turned it around? That sort of stuff turned it around. Always, Jared, boring pressure tackling, all that sort of stuff. It still is the most important aspect of um, exerting an authority and mental disintegration over an opposition and Clarkson said it many, many years ago. We weren't tough enough for long enough and the dogs, they weren't tough enough for long enough. They started really, really well. Look at that. It was so infectious. Jared, oh, there's our man O'Driscoll who kicked it from the boundary know. line. I thought yeah, he might be the best player in his family. <laughs> but Andrew Brayshaw and the young fella Caleb Sarong. Yep. He's 21 years of age, Caleb Sarong. First final. Basically, he got the Fremantle via the trade out of Brad Hill. So he goes, OK, I'm leaving Inverloch and Morrigal and, and going over to far off Fremantle. And in three years, he has cemented himself as a star of that team and, and a rising star of the competition. If he isn't already, I always said to you that and, um, Andrew Brayshaw might be the next captain. Yep. It might be Caleb Sarong, mate. He's that good. You just looked at it and thought that these are crowds you wanted to be in. You wanted to be in the crowd at the Gabba. You wanted to be in the crowd yeah, at the MC. You did. If you're in that 58,000 in Perth, I'm pretty sure you've got lifelong <laughs> memories out of that. Isn't it funny? We can only say what it's like to be in the crowd. Could you imagine being a player and being on that ground in front of that crowd? We can only talk about watching. Unfortunately, we weren't good enough to, to do what the players do, but all the players on the weekend should be really, really proud of what, yep. they, what they did.